Welcome to Armchair Sports Talk Team Previews. Today, the hitters. So Florida, probably the team that overachieved the most last year, okay, besides Kentucky, but from where I feel like they actually were in advanced stats and how they really were. I think the blowout of Florida State and then really Michigan in the bowl game probably had a disorienting effect. I don't think they were the top 10 team last year. I saw most stats, and they really seemed like a team that was figuring it out, but doing a good job, winning some games, being 10-3, and three, really exceeding expectations. It could be that good this year. It, this is a breakout team candidate. I, of all the teams that I'm probably going to cover in the SEC, this is, this is a true one. As in, they have the star ranking, the talent, the coaching staff, um, everything that they need to be able to see. Felipe and Frank's coming back to really be someone who knows what they're doing and really good. Uh, the, the challenge that I have is a few things. One, they could be a 10-win team again this year and be worse. The schedule is just hard. It's just is what it is. But I have some bias here. Uh, with all the offseason trouble Florida had, and if you're not aware of it, there were some pretty serious allegations against some players. Um, one of their top recruits left and transferred because he was roommates for one of them. It, it's a real bad culture situation. It, it kind of fits in a way that you're wondering if maybe this is – maybe there's something a little rotten, and I feel like that could have an effect. But I tell you, if you ignore that part – they, they really look like they could be a team that really moves forward. I, I think it starts with Felipe Franks. He got a lot better. He fits what Dan Mullen wants to run, and he seemed to start really getting the system and understanding it. Yeah, he's got a great arm, and I don't think he's always going to be the most accurate quarterback, but he is a lot more mobile than people give him credit for. I think he fits that kind of, let's be honest, the historical Dan Mullen bulldozers are kind of a big quarterback, maybe some questionable accuracy. Hi, Dak. Um, and I think he fits that well of what you're going to be able to see. A lot of people remember him under <laughs> Nussmeyer, sorry for fans, um, and, and how just terrible he was. And really the early season, he was pretty rough too. I just don't think that's who you're going to get. You saw a lot of progression. He's going into a true junior year, second year in a system with a guy that knows quarterbacks, who's always had good quarterbacks. Uh, and this is a breakout candidate, really. I mean, I don't expect him to be, you know, all-world Heisman contender, but he could be all SEC territory. And I know that's weird. The SEC actually has quarterbacks this year, but Franks really can get a lot better, and that can make that can make Florida a lot better. Um, you know, at, when you go to the running game, it's I don't know if there is a star. B. Ryan did average six point one yards a carry though, and that's pretty darn good. Not against just bad teams. It took a while, again, like everything, for the O to get going. But really, their veteran offensive line last year really started paying for the backs. I, I really like what you've got in P. Ryan. Uh, there's a lot of talk about Pierce, who's a bit younger, probably more explosive than P. Ryan. Um, but I don't know if dynamics better. What I really like about P. Ryan is he seems to really be able to press a hole real well, has great vision, is hard to tackle. Yeah, okay, he doesn't break away speed. He doesn't. Oh, he's not the most shifty guy in the world, but there's a lot to be said about someone who can consistently turn out yards and doesn't make bad plays. And that's what kind of what I expect you'll see this year is a lot of P Ryan and then kind of a committee for the other 40% areas, hopefully to get some explosive plays. No Pierce is kind of the guy they see. Now you go in the passing game. I already talked about Franks. Cause it's damn good. I think Cleveland is a really has a chance to be a star. Hasn't shown it because of the offense, but he's tall, he's fast, he's dangerous. Like, really like Cleveland a lot. I think he can kind of be one of those breakout seniors you see pretty often that maybe doesn't have the national attention, but this year really come to him, especially since he has Van Jefferson on his opposite side. Van Jefferson transferred last year and wasn't a star, but again, receiver is a really hard position to transfer one from one position to another, like really incredibly hard. It doesn't seem like it, but it is. And I think, again, second year offense blowout is what's going to be able to happen. Part of this, though, is they really need to get Tony, who is electric, of course. They got to make him be less of a gadget player. He's got to be a receiver. And I don't know what he needs to do as a receiver. I'm not saying he needs to catch bombs out or out. He's got to do something consistently. Yes, he was better last year. They do get better. It is possible. I, I don't know. I think if he can be a true dynamic slot player, 
that really excels what you see because when you get to the offensive line, listen, I know. I know what they were a couple years ago, but they were good last year. They lose four starters. I think that matters a lot. I think it's going to hurt. That experience that they're losing, it, it, they just don't necessarily have – they just don't necessarily have the guys. Now, yes, they've got a couple seniors that are replacing him, but they never really got in when their line was a disaster. Um, they don't seem like the guys that are going to be just the Wisconsin just replace them. They kind of seem like Jags, you know, just a guy. I don't think they're going to be bad, but let's just say when they go play Georgia, I'm not really expecting them to be dominant. I think system can mitigate this. I think they can do a good job. Um, but I wouldn't be too surprised to see if something holds Florida back from the boom I think they can have on offense. It's going to be the offensive line. But I don't think it's going to be as bad as you could take a look at it. You could take a look at it and see it's terrible. I think Mullen's a real good coach. I think Mullen's a great offensive mind. I think it's going to matter a lot. Now let's go to the defense because they did lose a pretty decent amount from their defense. Um, you know, uh, their defensive line probably isn't, doesn't have the depth that once had, but man, I think Zink is a real good player. I think he's a breakout. I mean, he kind of broke out last year. He was all SEC type, but I think he can be truly, truly great there. You know, a moon and Chet field, they can get after the passer. Florida did have trouble stopping the run last year and I'll get to Manny Diaz or not Manny Diaz. I'm sorry. Um, angry blitzer Todd Grantham in a second and because I thoughts are mixed on Todd Grantham but that and that kind of fits the system but they kind of got pushed around I mean the Georgia game yes is top running offense but they got bullied in the Georgia game hell they kind of got bullied in the Missouri game which was kind of weird um that's my concern here is they don't have great depth and besides Zenga I don't know if Moon and Chetfield are great run stoppers. If they're older, you expect them to get better, but I don't know. I feel like a real good offensive line can bully these guys. You know, they were like 25 last year in s and I don't know. Um, from a linebacker situation, I don't love it. They're, they're solid. So, so, first of all, Dave Reese is a good player, real good player. He's an All-American in the 90s and early 2000s doesn't quite have the athlete I like to see from my linebacker today. Um, I, I think he's going to help a lot in the run. I think some wheel routes are going to get them this year. Also, again, Todd Grantham. Um, you know, next time it's really unsettled, and none of these guys are real athletes that I think can really do what Grantham wants to do, which is be that um, Javarius uh, Jenkins guy um, can be their – missiles, heat seeing missiles that he wants them to be in his very complex zone blitz um, scheme um, that he tried running. I don't know, again, not bad, but regression, I think. And to a point where you take a less Zinga really blows up, which I do think he will, you know, 25 may be lucky with their stay at. This could be a step back. Um, the where I think it probably won't is Man Henderson on their defense back as a spark. I mean, I, I think it's a, I think he's a star. He's going to be an eraser. Um, I'm curious to see if Wilson can stay healthy. Can stay healthy. If he is, you're looking at a really good secondary. I mean, they were good last year. I mean, they're always good, but they were real good last year. I think they're better than they were again. Todd Grant them. Um, yeah, their DBs are real good, and that's going to give them a chance to mitigate a lot what you see from a run game. And again, where I talk um, a lot of crap about Todd Grant them, he is comes up with some really crazy blitz strategies that tend to work a decent amount. And I think that's going to be a big, big thing here. Um, listen, I love Mullen as a coach. Mullen is a great coach. The off season thing gets me a little bit and there's enough question marks to make me think this is not going to be a breakout year that really, I mean, screams breakout to me anyway. Um, you know, 10 and three ish looks solid. You know, uh, Todd Grant, I spoke about a lot. He's my problem with him. He comes up with some of the best concepts I've ever seen from a blitzer, but God damn, he's an emotional blitzer. Sometimes blitzing is not always the option. It, it, it can surprisingly not be the solution to all problems. And he asks his players to do a lot of really complex schemes and that gives him a huge havoc rate. God, does that give it a lot of big plays? I mean, I can't remember his time at Georgia, the amount of big plays he gave up Louisville. He's, he's a fine coordinator. I think he's horrifically flawed. That prevents him from being elite. And it's going to cost him a game. Um, you know, 
Pass protection is going to be a question for them. If pass protection can be good, they can get a good enough game on the ground. The offense can take off where the defense, I think, will at best tread water. Um, to me, this is a similar record and a slightly better team. This might actually be the 10-team NSAP+, which is not quite the breakout that I think a lot of factors are pointing in their direction. Be sure to follow us on our Facebook page. Follow us at ACS Sports Talk on Twitter. Also check out our YouTube channel, Armspare Sports Talk. Um, this is the Florida preview. Six more to go on the SEC. Should be good.